Welcome to the Supermom Expert Series, where we help parents to become smarter and better together. You ask the questions, we find the answers, and learn together in the Supermom Parenting Community. My name is Kenneth from Supermom, and in this episode, it's all about maternal vaccinations. Should I get it? Why should I get it? When do I get it? And how do I approach this conversation with my OBGYN? These are the big questions that every pregnant parent has. And today, we're so excited to have our expert in the house to answer all these questions. Please join me to welcome our expert, Dr. Chu. Hi, Kenneth. Hello, super moms. Right, so Dr. Chu, getting right into it. Vaccinations. Now, we've heard of the COVID vaccination. We've heard of vaccinations that we've gotten when we're younger. But perhaps just to refresh our memory um, and understanding as well, what is a vaccine and what does a vaccine do? So vaccinations are injections generally that's given to us so that it triggers our immune system to develop antibodies to fight against these infections. So when we were younger, uh, most of us would have had vaccinations against measles, mumps, rubella, chickenpox. Uh, more recently, of course, the COVID vaccination, as you have mentioned, as well as the boosters, uh, to not just prevent the infections, but at least reduce the severity of the infection. Okay. Are there key vaccinations that we should take when we are pregnant? Yes, so there are three key vaccinations that's generally recommended in pregnancy. The flu vaccination, the DTaP, which covers against uh, pertussis and whooping cough, and more recently, the RSV vaccination. The first two, Tdap and flu, protects both mother and the baby. For RSV, it's mainly for the baby's protection. I see. Can vaccines affect my baby's development? No, vaccinations don't affect the fetal development at all. In fact, it does protect the baby against uh, getting these infections by passing the immunity through the placenta. I see. And, well, a lot of parents are always worried about this, but would there be side effects on the vaccine on the mom? So they can have some soreness over the injection site. Uh, maybe a mild fever. I mean, these are signs that actually show that the mother is actually responding to the vaccination. And it does resolve um, after a day or two. And what happens if I miss a dose, a miss a vaccination okay. during my pregnancy? Well, it's not something to be too worried about, but do discuss with your OBGYN if you have if you think you have missed the vaccination. So, Dr. Chu, you've mentioned about RSV. Um, we know this as respiratory syncytial virus and uh, within the supermom community, there's a lot of um, conversation around RSV and how it affects infants and newborns because of its infectious nature. Could you perhaps give us a little bit idea of what RSV is all about? Okay, so RSV, uh, it's a very common respiratory virus that can affect young babies and as you said, uh, especially in the first six months, it can potentially be very serious leading on to uh, hospitalizations. When mild, the symptoms can be like a common cold with uh, sneezing, coughing, um, a mild fever. But uh, when serious, it can actually cause pneumonia or bronchiolitis, which can result in a lot of repeated admissions. So Dr. Chu, is the RSV vaccine available for everyone? Um, no. So currently, the RSV vaccination is recommended for pregnant mums and for the elderly who are susceptible to the infection. So therefore, it is advised for pregnant mums to get the vaccination so that they can pass the immunity over to the babies to protect them in the first six months of life. I see. So how is RSV spread? RSV uh, being a respiratory virus is spread through the secretions from coughing, sneezing and also um, contact with contaminated surfaces. So how can we prevent RSV in our young children and babies? Okay, so basic hand uh, hygiene methods like hand washing, um, limiting the exposure to uh, uh, infected individuals and as well as vaccinations. And of course, vaccination in this case is through the mother. So when the mothers get the vaccination, their bodies would produce the antibodies and that would be passed passively through the placenta to the baby, giving them the protection. I see, okay. So this brings us back to maternal vaccinations. Um, and when you mentioned about the RSE vaccine. Is there like a schedule or best time to take a vaccination during pregnancy? Yeah, so um, the Tdap vaccination is generally given at the end of the second trimester and the RSV slightly later in the last trimester. For the flu vaccination, it's something that can 
could be given at any point in the pregnancy. Hence, it is important for pregnant moms to discuss this with their doctors as to which are the vaccinations that are important for them. This has been definitely very helpful. Thank you so much, Dr. Chu, for your insights. And to all our parents, I think we've learned a lot more about vaccinations and maternal vaccinations. As always, always do reach out to your OBGYN to get their recommendations for what's best for you. And that's all for this episode of Supermom Expert Series. My name is Kenneth. Till next time, we'll see you soon. Bye!